Hey guys, I'm here with my August favorites, and a lot of these are actually holdovers from July since I was in the middle of moving and didn't get to film a July favorites. Jumping right in, I have two kind of random food favorites, and those are these guys. Over the past week or so, I've started putting lemon and lime in my water, and I have to say I'm absolutely obsessed. It tastes delicious, and it's really, really refreshing. I know a lot of people use these as kind of diet aids, but I actually really just like the taste. I don't drink sodas, so I'm always looking for a tasty alternative to plain water, and they also taste really, really good in club soda or sparkling water and in iced tea. That brings me to my second favorite, which are my cups for my apartment, which are these guys. These are actually just mason jars that I got at Ace Hardware, and I think it was about $7 for a dozen of them, so it's a really, really great deal, way better than going out and buying a set of glasses, and they work just the same. You can also use them for multiple things, so you can drink out of them or you can put food storage in them because they all, you know, come with lids, so multiple use, cheap, really cute, and I love it. And yes, this is iced tea with a lemon because like I said, I'm addicted. Next, I wanna talk about my TV show favorite of the month because yes, that's right, I've actually had time to watch a little bit of TV. I have been going directly to Hawaii Five O. Now, I'm a tad bit embarrassed to admit that, but I've been completely obsessed with this show. I've been watching it when I eat lunch or when I eat dinner at the end of the day after I come home from classes, and it's just really fun. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, it's actually very ridiculous, but it's just really fun. I love the character interactions and relationships, and I mean, what's not to love about watching a show set in beautiful Hawaii? Now, I have a ton of music favorites that have carried through pretty much this whole summer, so I guess I should probably get into those now. First, I want to mention something I discovered back in the beginning of July, and that was Pax Am Days. Basically, this is Fall Out Boy's 13-track, I believe, EP that is pretty much as close to hardcore punk rock as they come. If you are a fan of Fall Out Boy, I would highly suggest checking it out. It's kind of cool to see a different side of of the band and if you're not a fan of Fall Out Boy and you like more hardcore stuff, I would still suggest checking it out because it is a lot harder and uh, rougher than their other stuff and I have to say as a fan of both genres I really really like it. In July I also kind of fell into a little bit of a Paramore kick. Um, they're not a band that I I'm a huge fan of. I like some of their newer stuff and I definitely am obsessed with the song Misery Business. I can't help it. It's amazing. The band Rise Against released a new album, I believe at the beginning of August, um, called The Black Market and I have to say it's fantastic. It's definitely different than pretty much anything Rise Against has done before. Uh, generally they're a little bit of a harsher, grittier sound and in this album there are actually a few songs that sound vaguely Blink-182, uh, which is kind of cool that they can show such variety. Of course, they still have the hard-hitting political, social commentary messages, which I really, really enjoy, and if you haven't checked out any of their music videos, I will be linking um, I Don't Want to Be Here Anymore down below because it's a really powerful video, and I highly suggest that you all go watch that. And finally, music-wise, I am still obsessed with Tonight Alive. I can't stop listening to their stuff. Just yesterday, I was listening to their Spotify page on repeat. They're an amazing band and I hope they do more stuff and put more stuff out pretty soon because it's so good I can't stop listening. Sadly I don't have a YouTube favorite for the month so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and move into my style and beauty favorites. First I'd like to mention NYX liquid black liner from their collection Noir. Um, I have to admit when I first bought this I wasn't too keen on it. Um, it's not the easiest to apply. It's very uh, liquidy when it first goes on, and then once it's on and it dries, it does not move. And I find that really frustrating at first because, you know, God forbid you mess up, it's kind of on there and you have to like remove half of your makeup to take that off. And um, that was just really frustrating to me. However, now that I'm living in Southern California and I am walking to school in 95 degree weather, I really appreciate this stuff because that means I get to school, this is still on my face, I walk home and this is still on my face. Um, actually, right now it, I'm wearing it today and I just walked five blocks to school and five blocks back and it has not budged, and I'm very, very happy about that. Another product that is very heat friendly is this Mentha Lip Shine, and it's totally gonna go throw off my contrast here, but this stuff is great um, for the hot weather because it has a really nice cooling effect because of the mint. When I was in San Francisco, I never used this stuff because it felt redundant to put something cooling on my lips when I was gonna go outside and it was cool and rainy. Here, however, it's been really, really nice to put on either right before I go outside or right when I get inside a building. Just kind of cools my lips down, keeps them really nice and hydrated, and I haven't been having uh, kind of flaky dry lips anymore. 
if that was TMI, sorry. I really do think being back in SoCal and being back in the sun has just kind of changed what products I'm reaching for. For example, I've been reaching for pastel nail colors, which I very rarely do. Um, and these are the two I've been wearing a lot this month. This one is what I've got on today. This is a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails in the shade Breezy Blue. And this is one of the Cover Girl Outlast colors in Peaches and Cream. This is the one that I didn't like, I think back in May. Um, but what I actually did was I thinned this out with a little bit of um, nail remover, nail polish remover, and I have to say it works so much better when it's thinned out a little. Uh, it doesn't streak as much and it dries a lot better. And last but not least, when it comes to style favorites, I have been really enjoying cut up t-shirts. This is one I did back in April. This is actually my Relay for Life Team Captain shirt that was really, really uncomfortable. It had a really tight neck and I just was never going to wear it. So I cut it up, made a little tank top, so much more comfortable whether you're sleeping in it or lounging around the house. I love it. Love it a lot. Just a couple days ago, I did this other one that was a man's shirt that I got at Target. It's super soft and I liked the neck on this one so I left it on and just took off the sleeves. All right, you guys, that's it. Those were my favorites from July and August and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe let me know uh, something that you guys have been liking lately because half the time I check them out and then those are things I end up liking as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, are enjoying the end of your summer, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Welcome to a series of videos on which Marissa has yet to figure out her lighting and it's going to be totally washed out. I am a little embarrassed. <laughs> what the heck was that? Rise Against released... Oh my gosh, okay.